I'm Tanya Hoser, I'm a cinematographer and I also occasionally write and do some guest lecturing. At the moment I'm working mainly on documentary, which is a good way of combining my cinematography skills and my life experience, which has involved quite a lot of travel. My teaching career has taken me to some amazing places. I've worked in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates, I've worked in Barbados and I've worked in my local university in Canterbury, which is where we are now. It is an exciting time to be an educator and how we present what we want to teach about the world is changing too. So today is not so much about teaching cinematography, it's about how visuals are used within education, how being on camera is becoming a real part of learning and the role of these Canon cameras in enabling that. The cameras that we have today are the CRN300 and the CRN500. They're both PTZ cameras, which means they pan, they tilt, and they zoom in. You'll probably be familiar with programs that use PTZ cameras, such as any kind of reality TV. They don't have camera people standing in the room, they have PTZs in there, and they are remotely controlled and they follow what's going on. Both of these cameras have a 4K sensor, in the CRN500, the sensor allows for dual pixel autofocus, which enables the camera to locate the person who needs to be in focus, and if they move around, focus will stay on that person. The CRN300 has hybrid focusing, and hybrid focusing allows the focusing ability of the camera to still be active in very, very low light situations. Both of them are really, really effective for educational purposes. Today we're filming in a traditional lecture theatre and I've put my PTZ cameras either side of the room so that we can get two different angles on Mike who is going to be doing a short lecture for us. You would also need to make sure that any cable runs could be taped down or hidden securely. Creatively, you would want to usually position one on a wider shot and one on a tighter shot. These cameras operate well and you can get very good image quality at a very low light level, which means that it's not essential to put lights on the person who's giving the class. However, it just does draw the viewer's attention to them, so it's good to do that if you have the opportunity. In terms of the technical settings for the camera, so that the picture looks good and you get a good range of colours and lights and shades, there's actually a fantastic auto button, which is one of the things that makes them very simple to use. We've placed the CRN300 here, which allows us to get some nice wide angles of the lecture theatre. And because it has a 20 times zoom, if for example we're showing some tiny detail, people will be able to learn from that because they can see the details, perhaps even more clearly than they would do in a classroom where they've got quite a few people standing around something. Once you've set up your cameras, you can start your class and you really can just focus yourself on your teaching. Presets are an amazing feature of these cameras. What you do is you line up a shot you like and then you just allocate a number which is called a preset to it. Then you line up another shot and allocate a number to that. All you then have to do is just press a button and the camera pans, tilts and zooms as required and that's something that makes these cameras far more flexible than most other camera solutions on the market. With the trace function, you can select 10 different camera positions to be used over a period of time, which means you could have the cameras going all by themselves from wides to tights to pans. And that means you really can have a hands-off approach when you're presenting a class or an educational experience. These cameras don't have to be used in isolation. You can pair them with another camera, like the Canon XA45, which is a very flexible camera, easily used in education. So I hope from what you've seen today, you can see that how these Canon cameras can help you improve not only the current needs you have in education, but also be ready for the next stages of education, in which, for example, the prospectus is no longer on paper. It's very, very much your video and visual presence online. It's a really, really interesting time at the moment, not only about what's going on in the world, but about how we present and teach that to the next generation.